Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. When we last left off, we went back and forth across creation to talk to a person who was incorrectly not meant to be talked to and stuff, and then we went and talked to somebody else, and then we had to come back to the first place we went to because that's where the place where we need to go is. And now we're buying stuff. And I forgot that he doesn't sell X elixirs here, but that's okay. Because, um, we don't re really need them that badly, and chances are, um, something will drop them. Because they always do. And I'm sick of talking to these people. Get a knight with some sword. You know, I've changed my mind. It's Gemma Knight. I don't want to say Gemma Knight. It's one of the two, but I've decided to say uh, Gemma Knight now. Oh, whatever. I'm just probably going to swap between them. You'll know what I mean. It'll say so on the screen. Okay, now, uh, as I was saying before, or as uh, Dr. Bow Wow said, there is a crystal around here that will react when we use the nuke spell on it. However, rather than using the nuke spell on every single crystal in the desert, we're actually just going to go ahead and hit every crystal in the desert until we find one that makes a noise, because that's the one we're going to be casting the spell on. Um... So yeah, the nuke spell, unlike what I said uh, what I said before, I'm actually going to get rid of that silence thing because I don't want it. Probably could have sold that uh, opal. I'll do it at the next opportunity, which is probably going to be never. Um, so yeah, the nuke spell wasn't optional, but we did get it early, so uh, we don't have to worry about getting it now. Armadillas are immune to axes. I'm just going to use magic on them. What better spell to use than the nuke spell? We're going to be using that soon anyway. What do they drop? They drop stamina thingy. You know, there's no reason why not to use stamina thingy. Huzzah. That's not it. That's not it. I think... We, I don't know if we attack the ones here, but... Probably not, because all the uh, enemies are back on this... So, I'm fairly sure it's not even in this area of the desert, but, you know, just to be on the safe side. Because I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've played this game. Or since I, well, it hasn't been a while since I physically played the game, but uh, it has been a while since I've gotten this far in the game. Ah, there it is. And we nuke it. And we go down here. Wait for me. And we're in another dungeon. There's snails here. And, um... Those thingies. Uh, ice cube mirrors. They drop X cures. Ooh. Oh, they are mirrors. They throw us at them. Uh, they throw us at, at, at us. And we're going to meet a pretty cool, um... I do remember the, uh... We do get a companion here, and he's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a robot. And he's immune to, uh, stuff. Let's go this way. Okay, so I guess, um... Snails and mirrors are our new, new enemies. So we'll probably and robots, but we'll probably be seeing like other stuff too, because you know we always see older stuff in these places. Guess they want to keep some variety, so we're probably going to see those demon guys who we don't like at all and who aren't invited to our parties because um, they get drunk and put lampshades on shit lampshades on their heads, and uh, all the other party goers are disgusted by them. But, you know, we let him in anyway that one time, because, you know, we didn't want to be rude. Oh, my. Are there any other weapons that we can use against these? Morningstar, probably. They can, they can destroy anything. Yeah, Morningstar. Okay, we can go that way. Let's head across and see what's what. There's a chest here, and we got Dragon Shield.
more than likely better than our ice shield. So not only do we have more defense now, but we're also not uh, weak to fire. They give us a thunder thingy, which we don't want. I should have sold that opal when I had the chance, but I didn't. Ooh, maybe we can go across here and then... Yes! Checking walls. I know I didn't check the walls in the dragon shield room, but then again, there's usually... Is this another repeating dungeon? Game. I thought we were done with those. Oh, maybe not. These go in uh, different directions. Yeah, and these lead to different rooms, too, so... Let's equip better weapon, and also equip a, sp a spell of some kind, because, uh... We probably shouldn't ever leave the B-button slot open. Um, because that means that if we need to cast a spell, and then we try to cast a spell, it's not going to cast a spell. Because there's no spell equipped. Oh, you... No, no, no. You're immune to the Zeus Axe. Why wouldn't you be? There. Uh, keep forgetting to check the walls. They're not immune to the Thunder Spear. Wisdom. We're at level 47 now. And we are close to the end of the game, too. Okay, so all the new stuff is immune to the Thunder Spear, not the Zeus Axe. Except for the robots. But everything else is immune to the Zeus Axe, but not the Thunder Spear. So, uh... <laughs> I know the weapons we're going to be swapping between for enemies. This is just leading into a huge line of rooms, so we're probably going the correct way. And the other two doors probably lead to other things. Also, sometimes some of these enemies seem to be immune to something, and then they're not later. I don't know. This game is weird that way. Uh, we can just check for walls while we're waiting for them to pop back up, I suppose. What do they drop again? Something useless? Oh, no, they drop x ethers. Let's move our inventory around so that that's up in the correct area. We can use these X-Cures, probably. Just to free up some inventory space. I'm going to hold on to that opal because, um, even though I should have sold it when I had the chance, uh, we will have the chance to sell it later. Uh, so, yeah. Even though I have, you know, 46,000... Oh dear, that's a uh, boss. We're not going to go that way yet. We'll meet that boss later. I want to explore the rest of the tower first. Luckily, this isn't like a, a regular Zelda game or a Zelda game of, like, this, this, like, Link's Awakening or anything like that, where the door is shut behind you when you go into a boss room, and then, uh, you just missed out on exploring the rest of the, uh, of the, uh, dungeon you're in. And I don't want that to happen, so, um... I decided to, uh, go back and explore the, uh, other rooms. But we know where the way forward is, so, um... We've got our, uh, priorities. <laughs> Uh, all set. So we, we'll, we'll know the way out. Or the way forward, I should say. Thunder thing we don't need. Uh, item. Uh, how do I... 
Oh, that's right. We use the corners, don't we? Okay. Let's see what's this way. Oh, mummies and a lizard. Everything will fall to the Thunder Spear or the Zeus Axe, so... Ooh! Dragon Sword! Let's see how that is compared to the Zeus Axe. Also, our Rusty Sword. Dragon Sword is very good compared to, um... Oh, compared to Zeus's axe. Let's move the Zeus axe up here... to uh, replace the wear axe, because we don't need the wear axe anymore. Okay, so, uh, going that way was, uh, was fruitful. We got a sword. That everything is probably going to be immune to, but still. And this just leads... Oh, that's not... They're not immune to that. I think there's dragon armor in here somewhere, too. Maybe that is in the next part of the dungeon, because I know, do know that this dungeon is in multiple parts. Uh, that boss is just, like, the boss of part one, if you want to put it that way. All right, let's go back. Get some more experience on the way by killing these guys. Heal ourselves, because I just noticed that we were in double digits for health, and that's no good. I don't think I checked the walls here before. No, I didn't. But they're not, uh... Destructible. Is the word. Oh, of course you'd be immune to the dragon sword. You can't use ask. You don't have anybody to ask anything. You're not immune to the thunder spear, though, and you'll die in one hit. Are you immune to the dragon sword? Probably. Yes. Now, you are immune to the Thunder Spear, but you're not immune to my best weapon. As we've so, you know, learned in... Unicorn. Um, I think a Unicorn Potion is a cure-all. Um, like, it's basically the heal spell. Like, where the heal spell can cure any status effect, but every status effect has its own kind of potion. The unicorn potion is basically the heal spell. So we could hold on to that, but I really don't see the need to, because we have the heal spell, and it hits cast, like, what? It costs, like, what? One MP to use? Oh, well. The next time we get a status effect, I'll use it. You're immune to the dragon sword. All right, boss time. Um, all right, let's uh, tank this sparkly stuff. And then tank the boss, because that's what we do. It's worked so well so far. We haven't... Well, the only reason we've died to bosses um, is because they explode on us after they die. So it was really them being butthurt that we uh, killed them. That's the only reason why we've died to bosses, because they were butthurt. But we know to dodge explosions now, um, so uh, we should be okay. This is like the uh, the mantis boss, the, the first mantis boss in Secret of Mana too. I think that's what this was meant to be. Um, metallic mantis or something like that. Mantis ant. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut the video here, and when we come back, uh, we will explore more of the Dime Tower. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?